Well guys, we made it. We're at the last level of the normal gameplay for GoldenEye 007. It's Mission 7, Part 4, The Antenna Cradle, and this is basically the part where we say, fuck you, Trevelyan, you're dead, and put a bullet in his head. So before we do that, though, we need to destroy the control console, which is easier done than said. Um, the main thing you want to watch on this level is you always want to be one step behind Trevelyan. You, do, you don't ever want to lose him because if you do, you're going to start getting caught up with the other accessory guards, I guess, and you don't don't really want to waste too much time with them because um, this level is somewhat time sensitive in that it's it's always better to get Trevelyan to um, to want to finish off the fight with you um, than it is to you know waste time killing all these guards because they're eventually just going to chip chip away at your life and uh, that's not a good thing so. So I'm going to try and go through this as quickly as I can. There's going to be a guard down here making his way up. Just take him out real quick. And as you can see, Trevelyan made his way into this, um, this little area right here. Before I attack him, I'm going to take out this gun. And I'm actually going to watch my back and make sure that no one's coming. Because I think there is guys coming. Again... Utilizing that line of sight exploit is always a good thing here. Okay, so he's about to prime a grenade. I'll just uh, just take him out real quick. So now that most of that is clear, I'm actually going to go in here now and, and make my first attack on Trevelyan. And it looks like I just completely missed him, so that's not a good thing. But anyways, all we have to do for the control console is destroy this uh, computer right here. So that's part A completed. And you always want to make sure you're trying to um, get rid of the guys that are chipping away at your life. But again, at the same time, you don't want to waste too much time with them. So, okay, so there's still one more behind me. I'm actually going to switch to my ZMG here. A little bit more firepower, and it's, it's kind of pointless to be using the um, PP7. And, it, and you'll notice that these guys have substantially better aim now in this level. Okay, so I just did a little bit of damage there, and whenever... Whenever he gives you a comment like that, you basically know that you've, um, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and you, you are damaging him. And, and I think... Oh shit, it's gonna be a bitch. Okay, so now I'm gonna start making my way back towards Trevelyan. Again, you don't want to spend too much time with these guys, but I just don't want someone shooting me from behind the entire time because obviously that's gonna take away a lot of life. So I'm just going to set myself up here, open the door, and give him a couple shots. And he did drop a grenade, so I'm just going to wait for that to um, to uh, explode. going to grab the body armor that was there. Actually, I did not even know that was there. I didn't even know, like, when I was younger that it was there. So that's kind of cool. So I'm just going to aim up here and uh, try and shoot him in the head if I can. I'm not going to worry about the guy behind me, he's just going to give me like a little speed boost, so to speak. Trevelyan is just across the way there, so I'm going to see if I can uh, hit him from here. Apparently I can't, so that's kind of bad. But... I'm going to wait for these two guys to come up, just like this. Oh, looks like there's someone else behind me too. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to I'm gonna do this um, railing exploit here and... Uh, take these guys out that way because I'm actually going to come around this way to to attack Trevelyan. Normally this this level would not take you this long. Like basically you should be well on your way to getting him to uh, do the final showdown with you. So I'm just going to pop him right in the head if I can. Maybe I can't. That's close enough. You know what? I'm going to take these guys out. I think there's one behind me too. Maybe not. Where the fuck did he come from? Okay, so I'm going to make my way down now. There's a guy coming around. i got to remember to... There's two guys coming, so i got to remember to check for them soon. And he... He may have went in here yet, so he did go through here. I'm just going to keep on going with this. I'm not going to worry about the guys that are behind me because I just want to... Okay, here we go. So that prompts the um, 
the final showdown sequence with uh, Alec Trevelyan here. And um, we're just going to follow him. He's going to, you know, dramatically drop down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually face to the um, face to the back here toward the ladder because that's where he's going to be. And just kill him. He's going to fall off and that should be the end of the level. So there he goes, dramatic falling scene. Kind of funny. And this uh, next cutscene here is obviously very similar to the movie whereby Natalia shows up with a chopper and uh, James jumps on it and hangs on and she goes off. And that's basically it. So for all those who are still watching, um, thank you very much for coming along for the journey for my first Let's Play. Um, again, I want to thank the ABGN for introducing me to the, the idea of gameplay and commentary videos, and I'd like to thank Zelger for giving such wonderful, you know, good LPs, and uh, there's a lot of other guys that are doing LPs out there that are doing really good. Um, so yeah, this is, um, this is the end of the game. I'm probably going to do the other two bonus levels as well and um, show you what what um, show you guys what that's all about but besides that um, I don't really have much else to say other than thank you um, please leave feedback um, however you want just let me know if there's things you like about my uh, you know my LPs just let me know if there's things that I'm not doing or things I should be doing um, just let me know Again, if I do more LPs, I'll get my own registered version of Hypercam, that sort of thing. So, so yeah, I guess um, I guess that's it. And um, check but check out my uh, profile or my channel or whatever, and just um, see if I'm coming out with new um, new LPs. If you don't want to do that, then you can obviously subscribe. But I'm not going to be one of those guys that says please subscribe because you know. I'm not really like that. I'm not going to bug you guys to subscribe to my videos. That should be something that you would do voluntarily if my videos are good, right? I'm not going to bug you guys just to subscribe just because I asked you to, so. Um, yeah, that's about it. I guess I'll just let these, um, these credits roll here. I don't think I'm going to go over the 10 minute mark, so. Um, I guess I'll go over, I'm using Hypercam. I have my sound card. It's the like the the um, Sound Blaster Platinum Pro or something like that. So I actually have my sound card set to um, record. The option is called What You Hear, so it's recording the game and um, my microphone at the same time. And I'm using the um, SM58. It's like a studio microphone, and I have that plugged into my external sound card box thing there. So that's how I'm doing that. In case you were wondering. Um, so yeah, we're back to the um, the opening credits here. So again, I thank you very much for watching, and hopefully you'll see more of me in the future.